sweetheart, I am home. Sorry it took so long, but I got your favorite food for tonight. Baby? Baby? Where are you? And how the fuck did you undo your binds? Oh my god, did someone get to you? It was that stupid bitch, wasn't it? No, no, no. This can't be happening. I will rip her fucking heart out. I know you wouldn't run away from me. She told you you had to go with her, didn't she? So you went to protect me. Fuck! It's okay. It's okay. Just think. What now? How can I get you back so I can keep you all to myself? <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're still here. Thank God, sweetheart. You had me so worried that something had happened to you. But... Where are you? Baby? Tell me so I can come take care of you. I know you're still here somewhere in this warehouse. I heard you. And I can feel your presence. That's because we're so close. We're soulmates. And you know that means you can't go anywhere without me. I got a little overwhelmed there, but I'm okay now. It's not like you tried to run away from me, did you? No, no. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? No, you wouldn't do that to me. Not to me. You're still here. I know it. Baby? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm. No answer. Wait, are you wanting to play a game with me? Oh, sweetheart, you know how much I love games. <laughs> Especially hide and seek. It's my favorite. God, you're the sweetest, most considerate boyfriend. I feel so blessed. <laughs> I'll tell you what, since you're so thoughtful and decided to play a game just for me, so we could have some fun together after so many changes in the last couple of weeks. I'll give you a countdown before I start looking for you. But just a small one, okay? Since you already got a head start on me. <laughs> okay, let's begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm, where could you be? Don't worry, baby, I'll find you. I'll always find you. I'll never let you go, even if it's the last thing I do. We're supposed to be together forever, after all. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, it looks like you stepped on some broken glass. And you've left a trail of blood behind. That wasn't how it was supposed to be. You weren't supposed to get hurt. You see, when we first got here a little over a week ago, I shattered some glass around the exits of this warehouse. Just for your safety, of course. I wanted to be able to hear if anybody tried to sneak in. I had to make sure you were protected at all times. And while it was true that your shoes did come off when I was moving you here after the fire, but I, well, I told a little white lie. They didn't get lost. 
I put them in a safe place so they wouldn't get all dirty. I mean, I know how much you care about your shoes. And plus, it's summer after all, and so warm, both at night and during the day. You know, I would never let your cute little toes freeze. But I knew you would be more comfortable without your shoes on. And I'll always do what's best for you, baby. God, you have my little heart wrapped around your finger, don't you? <laughs> I don't know what I would do without you. So... That's why there's shards of glass everywhere. Just as a precaution, you see. But I'm so sorry, baby. It looks like I might have messed up by keeping you barefoot. And look what happened. Please forgive me, my love. I never meant for you to get hurt. I only did what was best. It's okay, though, sweetheart. It doesn't look like you're bleeding that much. This trail of blood could be far, far worse. And I know how to treat your wounds because I would never do anything that might hurt you. Only what is necessary to keep you safe and protected. Not like that fucking bitch who tried to steal you from me. Besides, I sealed all the windows and doors anyway, except for the one I have a key for. The one I use to get us things that we need which means the only way for anyone to get in or out is to get through me. That idiot would never think of something like that. That's why I'm here to protect you, baby. That's why you need me. <laughs> of course, even though I can treat your wounds, it could be dangerous if you tried to run then the shards of glass would get pushed deep into your feet and it might hit some important arteries. But you wouldn't run from me, right? After all, this is just a game, yeah? Just a lighthearted game of hide and seek. Please, don't do that, baby. Don't try to run. I couldn't stand the sight of you losing so much blood just to try to make the game a little more fun for me. I wouldn't want my sweet baby to bleed out. Not unless, well, not unless we had to do it. I mean, if it was the only way for us to stay together, then I would understand. So tell me, where are you hiding, sweetheart? I want to see those beautiful eyes of yours staring back at me. It's driving me mad that I can't see you right now. I know I must be getting close. I can still see your trail of blood that you left just for me on the ground. Don't worry, baby. I will find you. Take some deep, deep hits. Seven, eight, kill off all the ones I hate. Nine, ten, we'll be together again. I can hear your breathing getting louder, baby. And I know that you're close. Don't worry. I'll find you. I can't wait to see you and hold you in my arms, my love. I miss seeing you so much already. And I'm craving the taste of your sweet lips. <laughs> you really know how to drive a girl wild, don't you? Oh, and since we're in the middle of a discussion already, well, sweetheart, I just want to say that I know you're worried. You were acting strange the last couple of days. Something wasn't right, and I knew 
Your sweet, caring heart was distracted by something or someone. But you wouldn't share what was burdening you with me. And it was clear I might have to get ready to protect what we have together once again. I mean, you couldn't even meet my eyes when I would talk to you. It hurt me a lot. But I know sometimes we hurt the ones we love by accident. You probably didn't want to make me feel bad or torment me with whatever you had on your mind since you're such a compassionate and empathetic guy. Fuck, I love you so much. But baby, you know that we are supposed to be together forever. That's because we're kindred spirits, you and I. And our true love will conquer anything or anyone. That's why you need to start sharing your worries with me more often. I want to help you. Let me be there for you. There's nothing more fulfilling for me than to be able to devote my life to loving and protecting you at all costs. Hmm. I must be so close. I can hear your heart beating. <laughs> Found you. My love, why did you make me do that? I told you not to run. You could have hurt yourself. And besides, it wasn't really fair that you changed the game from hide and seek to cat and mouse in the middle of us playing. But I won't hold it against you. After all, the ability to adapt faster and smarter than your opponent shows the powerful difference between adapting to cope and adapting to win. <laughs> Either way, looks like I won this time around, baby. Better luck next time. And don't worry, you're just unconscious. Nothing that can't be treated. I'll take care of you. No need for concern. <laughs> God, you look so cute when you're sleeping like this. And I... No, you can't kiss me back. But... Mm, fuck. I miss these luscious lips of yours. All right, let's get out of here, my sweet baby boy. This place didn't really feel like home anyway, did it, my love? I know just where we'll go. We could use the change of scenery. And trust me, you'll love it and you'll never want to leave. I know it. God, I love you so fucking much. It'll be just you and I, together, forever, and always. <laughs>